I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, CV. It's Grace and Cody here with your morning announcements for Wednesday, March 11th. Central Valley Warrior Cheer Clinics and Trials will be held March 23rd through 26, 2020. If you're interested in being a Warrior Cheerleader, please sign up in the high school office and take the trial informational packet. The last day to sign up is March 20th. All senior project paperwork is due April 1st, and two new senior project opportunities are available. Please see Ms. Kostelik or Ms. Jones with any questions. Attention NHS members. Volunteers needed for purse bingo at St. Francis Cabrini on Thursday, March 23rd. This is a fundraiser for the Center Civics <coughs> Women's Club, who generously donate to many local charities. Please volunteer from 5 to 7 p.m. or 7 to 9 p.m. Please check your email for the Google sign-up sheet. The Maple Syrup Festival is looking for volunteers. It is April 4th and 5th. You can easily get 20 to 24 hours in one weekend. Seniors, this is a great way to get the needed senior project hours. Please see Ms. Jones or Ms. Kostelik ASAP. The volunteer breakfast is March 21st at Brady's Run Lodge. There will be t-shirts on sale to support our Special Olympic athletes. The money raised will go towards providing a free t-shirt to each athlete to be worn to Special Olympics on Friday, April 17th. By purchasing a $10 shirt, not only would you be helping to cover the cost of a t-shirt, but you would be showing support and solidarity for an activity important to our students. The shirts will go on sale until April 2nd. Special Olympics is on a Friday, which would make it a perfect day to wear your shirt in support of our athletes. Please see Ms. Criswick for more information. Operation Generation CV is selling St. Patty's Day shirts for $10. If you would like one, please see Ms. Zillian in MB113. All money and orders are due by noon on March 13th. There will be an eSports club meeting at, on Thursday at 3 p.m. in Miss Delon's room. That's all we have for you today, CV. Have a great day. Good morning, CV. It's Jenna and Antonio here with your sports for Wednesday, March 11th. Our girls basketball team is playing in the second round of the PIAA state playoffs today at North Hills High School. This game starts at 6 p.m. versus North Catholic. This evening, Varsity Baseball will play at home at 4 o'clock against Pine Ridgeland. Also today, Varsity Softball plays home against Elwood City at 4.15. We would like to wish best of luck to the Central Valley swim team as they depart for the state meet at Bucknell Thursday morning. Good luck to team members Dan Tanastovic, Nico Robo, Matt Kuzmich, Michael Spinelli, Alyssa Bruno, and Alexa Gonzi as they aim to bring home the gold. That's all we have for your sports today, CV. Have a great day. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Liz and I here with a segment on eSports. Mobile eSports are on the rise. Everyone's got a smartphone or a tablet, and they're loaded with video games. Games like Vainglory, Arena of Valor, Fortnite, and Clash of Clans have millions of fans and are bringing in millions in revenue. Esports, also known as electronic sports, is a form of physical activity, but instead of on a field, court, or rink, it's all included in your screen. It usually is a multiplayer video game competition. This sports phenomenon started in Asia and slowly is making its way around the world. Some of the popular games are League of Legends, Dota 2, and Hearthstone. The game can be played by individuals or on a team and can be sponsored by big gaming companies. Tournaments are a common event hosted by many game developers. These gaming sessions can now be live streamed anywhere. As of right now, there are over 385 million people taking part in the esports session, whether it be them playing or watching. It is projected to have 589 million gamers and watchers by the end of the year. There are many scholarship opportunities for those who love to play esports games. You can get a scholarship for a variety of things. The types of games in which you can get a scholarship for include a multiplayer online battle area, collectible card game, sports games, fighting games, and a number of other things. Most of these scholarships range from $500 to $8,000. Schools may even offer full-ride scholarships if they have an eSports program. eSports has even made its way to Central Rally. Miss Salon is hosting these gaming events as a club, but more focus on the games NBA 2K20 and Madden 20. We were able to get an interview with the club sponsor and ask her a few questions. Hey CV, I'm here with Miss Salon and Landon, and I'm going to ask them a few questions about eSports. So, Ms. Delon, what made you want to start the club? Well, I started the club because our SAEM uh, class went to Robert Morris University 
for a pro alumni sporting event and we found out that they have a club at RMU and they give lots of scholarships and so I thought you know our students would be interested in playing esports. Thanks, thanks. How many members do you have in this club? Well we're just getting started so we have about 15 people signed up and we'll be you know having meetings after school real soon. Where do you want to see this club leading to? Well, I'm hoping that you know we have a weekly meeting where students are engaged in after school esports. What is your part in all this? Me and my sports and entertainment management class will be doing Madden, Madden NFL 20, and there will be future signups. It's open for all students, and we'll, it's going to be take place in the auditorium. If you enjoy playing video games, this may be a good club for you. Have a good day, CV.